away from me this session was definitely our freshmen. It's been fabulous to have so many new, vibrant, exciting, uh, diverse folks join us in our caucus and bring our numbers from 34 to 49. It's been a great session. I think the highlight for me has been the opportunity to get legislation through and not just my own but um, to also join with many of my colleagues. Uh, I came in 2009 and it has been difficult over the years to feel like you're being successful. Um, but this year there was a, a special, uh, not just a special bond, but uh, a, a concerted effort to make a difference. And I think that we had an opportunity this year and many things happened, especially like Medicaid expansion. So that was the highlight of, of my 2018 year. I think the highlight of this session has been the additional members of the House Democratic Caucus. That's what excites me so much. This is my 15th session and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for years for us to make the majority and reach majority status. We got very close to it, but it has made such a big difference. We've got some dynamic women and that is so exciting. I believe the women could rule the world we would be a much better place. And this is the beginning. I think uh, my highlight was walking in the very first day and seeing how the Democratic Caucus fills up almost the entire left side of the chamber. And next time we get here, or shortly after that, it's going to fill up more than the left side of the chamber. That's the highlight. The biggest thing we've got going here is we're at 49 and we're really making a difference. We have a really good shot at getting Medicaid expansion, a felony larceny increase in the threshold, and we continue to fight for education and things that are important to Democrats. The highlight of my session personally has been the increase in the larceny threshold because so many young people get involved in peer pressure and stupid acts and, and wind up with felony convictions for life. In addition, I'm very, very pleased with the progress that we're making on, on the idea of Medicaid expansion. There is nothing like the dilemma of a person needing medical care and not being able to get it. My highlight of this session is that I um, introduced the bill for the correction of the office and it has been introduced approximately 12 years and this is um, this year I was able to get that bill passed and make the correction office happy. Well, a lot of good things have happened this session, but most, I think the most important was Medicaid expansion. The many years that we have fought on this House floor for it, and to know that the possibility that thousands of Virginians will be able to have access to affordable health care means a lot. It means a lot to them personally and to their families, so it's the highlight of this session. It was doing karaoke with Vivian Watts. It was the most fun thing I've seen all year, and I loved it. I think the highlight has been a real enthusiasm of the, of the Democratic Caucus. I don't think I've ever seen such energy, and I, I'm, I'm really very hopeful that we can turn that into uh, everyone staying and adding to it and being in the majority next time. The enthusiasm has been great. One of the reasons why it's been so fun is that we've got some really good new freshmen on there. Um, and they've really been able to dig into a lot of the, the nitty-gritty of these bills and as a result we've got some really good stuff through on teacher licensure figured out uh, as well as career and technical education so that's been a real highlight and it's been great working with them. The highlight of this session for me has been working with another member of the opposite party in another part of the Commonwealth to really bring about change for urban and rural distressed areas. My session has been at making actual progress on student loan reform for the one million borrowers in Virginia that have 30 billion in debt and we'll continue that work next session as well. 
The highlight has been the amazing freshmen we've had, the fact that we're almost close to parity, we're almost in the majority, and the fact is that we've got the Medicaid expansion almost there. We've we're lowering, we're increasing the, penalty, the felony threshold. It's amazing the progress we're making. But I gotta tell you, next year and the year after, and the year after we take the majority back, we're really gonna have some open field running, and it's gonna be so incredible for our democratic values, our democratic priorities, what we can truly accomplish for the people of Virginia. The highlight for me this session has been the recording of all committees and all subcommittee votes, which I worked very hard to do last year. The highlight of the session for me was passing a bill that's going to change the way we discipline our students in school, We're taking it from 364 days down to 45 days. The highlights got a lot of things done, but I think Medicaid expansion and putting that in the House budget and hopefully the Senate comes to their senses. But I think that's the number one thing that can help so many Virginians. And it was, it was, a, it was a great day when I pushed that yes button. The highlight for me was definitely voting to expand Medicaid in the budget and also getting a few bills through both houses to get signed by Governor Northern. The highlight for the session for me, uh, I'll give you two. So as every Democrat voting in favor of Medicaid expansion to cover 3,700 of my uninsured constituents from earn up to 138% of the federal poverty line, it's obviously a huge deal that will change so many people's lives once we finally get it through. Um, but the other thing that's really been a big deal for me is having my constituents come down here six bills in a row to testify in front of subcommittees. And when they're driving an hour and a half to two hours just to get down here, that really just means the world. And I'm so proud of them for being so involved in the civic uh, process here. The highlight of this session has definitely been uh, coming here to deliver on the promise of uh, fighting for and expanding Medicaid, which we were able to do in the House, and that was just a very proud moment. Um, I think the next would probably be uh, working uh, with, with this entire body to uh, pass the More Recess for Virginians bill, uh, which is now on its way to the governor and is going to be uh, amazing for our children. The highlight of this session for me has definitely been our Democratic Caucus, my admiration for the delegates who came here before us and their courage and their strength and their determination and their persistence is what has kept us going. Definitely the highlight from the session uh, for me was getting Medicaid expansion out of the House. And my hope is that the Senate will come to a deal with us because that provides health care for so many people who desperately need it. And uh, I think that's a huge win for Virginia and a huge win for everything we've worked hard for uh, during my time in office. So the highlight of my session for 2018 was sitting next to Lamont Bagby here in the Coffin Corner and presenting the first annual Coffin Corner Coffee Awards to the General for General Summit. It was great, had a blast. Couldn't ask for anything more. See you all in April. My highlight was for the first session serving as the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus Chair, but also sitting next to Cliff Hayes. Um, and also my, my good friend Marcus Simon. It's been a, it's been a uh, Great session, uh, but it'll be better once we come back and, and we complete the budget and get Medicaid expense. So the highlight of this session for me has been two, on two levels. One has to do with health care and affordable health care for all the Virginians. So the expansion of Medicaid uh, here in the House has passed. We're excited about that. The governor supports it. And now we're just negotiating with the Senate side to see if we can make that happen. The second is a measure that I was able to get successfully through the House, Senate, and the governor's signature. It had to do with housing or banning the housing of juveniles with adult offenders and our children. Those were two of the highlights for me in this session. One of my highlights has been sitting next to my fun seatmate, David Reed, who always gave me chocolate. You know you need to have good candy in order to survive this One of the great highlights of this session has been sitting next to Kathy Tran and her daughter Elise. Elise has been a lot of fun and playing with Elise got me over 2,000 Twitter hits. On Are you serious? Yes, it, it was Martin Luther King. It was over 2,500. That was one of my biggest highlights. The highlight of the session was the day we passed a really good budget, and I'm getting annoyed at those senators down the hall not seeing the light of day. 
and, and uh, shortchanging the Commonwealth in so many ways. <laughs> the highlight of my session has been getting to know the other incredible delegates in this House of Delegates, to see everybody working really hard on behalf of the people of the Commonwealth. These are good people, hardworking people, and it's just been an incredible experience. The highlight for me uh, is fighting back against the minion. The highlight of this session for me was to serve with all the fellow women like Deborah Rodman and all the new women and women that are here in the General Assembly. It's been serving with all my new freshman friends right here. So I'm glad to get them elected and re elected. Every day is a highlight for me. I just enjoy being with all my fellow colleagues. The highlight for this session has been um, just the entire process has been incredible. It's much more than I ever anticipated and I'm really honored to be here. Coming to you. I have spent my whole life as a public public servant and the highlight is getting my very first business card. And it's a fine one. Uh, the highlight uh, for me this session has probably been getting my bills passed. So I have four bills that uh, passed and it looks like it's going to head to the governor's desk so that's pretty awesome. Was meeting Jennifer Carroll Foy. <laughs> this is not. Been, I don't even know how this body has functioned without Jennifer Carroll Foy. <laughs> All these years. But now I look forward to the next 200 years. <laughs> Thank you. The highlight has been. Uh, Having all the new members in our House of Delegates, uh, the processes that have moved along smoothly, uh, just the, the wonderful relationships that we've had, the way the colleagues have been able to work together, um, and having a House budget that had uh, Medicaid expansion in it, uh, and hope uh, we'll be able to continue with that uh, when we we'll come back together for our budget session and uh, move forward and get a budget pass that has Medicaid expansion. Well, this has been an amazing experience, you know, uh, especially for what it means for women of color like us. You know, people don't sometimes don't understand that as a woman we need to put all the time our gender, but then as a woman of color, our race as well, we have to prove that we are intelligent, that we are competent. What can we bring to the table? Mainly for me as a Latina, I'm being the first Hispanic female immigrant to this assembly. So my highlight has been working with such wonderful people here in the house. I think it's a blessing to be able to serve and to communicate and make friends and pass bills that are going to impact positively people's lives. So I uh, thank you. Thank you for always watching. Much love from the GA. The highlight of my session is sitting next to Joe Lindsay because if anybody knows what's going on, well, it's not Joe, but he's fun to work with anyway. Actually, it's La Cherise who really keeps us in track because she's the whip. And nobody whips them like La Cherise. She has now signed about 400,000 of these uh, certificates. I think every school child in Virginia is getting a La Cherise Air Certificate of Distinction. The highlight of the 2018 session for me was the uh, ability for me to be able to uh, work with a lot of new members, uh, mentoring a lot of the freshman members that uh, were not familiar with the legislative process. And also, I personally carried more bills than I ever did before. I printed about 30 bills, about 11 in the past. And so I kept myself pretty busy throughout the session. But I thought it was pretty productive. Um, and overall, I, I enjoyed the session. I was, you know, the biggest highlight of this session for me has been working on the Courts of Justice Committee with our own Vivian Watts. Mm. <laughs> it's been a real great honor to be able to try and form our criminal laws here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. It's been really fun. The highlight of this general assembly session seems to be the fact that we're going to finally deal with the need to expand Medicaid. We've had 400,000 people without health insurance. That's immoral to allow them to begin. We're now dealing with the issue. Our final resolution is yet to come forward. We're finally going to get to move on. Yes.